Do you need a gimbal to reduce that shaky video because you have an uncompleted rig? Well, if you want to learn how to make one for under $10, watch this video. This is a terrible video. Shaky. We need one of those gimbals. Things you need. A screwdriver, depending on what bolts you buy. A pencil, a ruler, a 1 8 drill bit, a 9 64 drill bit, a drill, a PVC cutter, and a saw for cutting the bigger PVC. 2 inch PVC pipe, about a dollar, 1 inch PVC pipe, about a dollar, half inch PVC pipe, about a dollar, a small ball bearing, smaller than 1 half inch, uh, 9 64 nuts. You need four of them. I only have three. Uh, 9 64 bolts, long, 9 64 bolts, short, and that should be it. Step number one take your half inch PVC pipe. Of course, yours would be a full length PVC pipe and without holes and bearings in it. So with your pipe, you want to measure about half, an, half of an inch of the PVC pipe and mark it with your pencil. After you do that, you want to cut it with your PVC pipe cutters. If you do not know how to use these, please ask for help. These can be very dangerous. Step number two, take your one inch PVC pipe and measure about half an inch and yours won't be cut. So you'll have to mark yours and cut it with your PVC pipe cutters. Step number three, take your two inch PVC pipe and your ruler and your pencil and a saw. So the PVC pipe cutters won't work on this. This pipe is too big. So you wanna measure about one inch. After you measure that, you wanna mark it with your pencil and you wanna cut it with your saw. Be very careful while doing this. Step number four. That's kinda loud. Take your half inch PVC pipe and measure across. Make sure the line is centered. So draw the line with your pencil. And you wanna make sure it's through the center. As you can see, I did not center it very well. So I'll have to redo it. So I just eyeballed it. So as you can see, it's kind of centered. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's centered, kind of. Step number five, take your drill and your um, larger drill bit, it was a uh, one-eighth, I believe, and drill a hole where you marked your lines. But don't drill all the way, drill almost all the way. That was dangerous, don't do that. Step number six, grab your ball bearing. I got mine from my yo-yo, because I use yo-yos, and I wrapped mine with tape and glued it into the two-inch, or I mean, one-half inch PVC pipe. Step number, where's the finger? Seven, yeah. Take your one-inch PVC pipe, a ruler, and a pencil, and do the same thing that you did with the half-inch, and measure across. Make sure it's centered again. But this time you want to make an X formation. So you'll, so you'll be splitting the PVC pipe into four parts. So it's an X formation. They're all almost centered. Make sure you do that. Step number eight. Take your drill with the smaller drill bit, the 964th drill bit, and your one inch PVC pipe and drill two holes. They have to be across from each other. Now take your bigger one, the one eighth one, I believe, and drill on the other on the other marks that you didn't drill yet. Step number nine. Now take your two inch PVC pipe and measure across like you did with the other ones. And you'll be drilling holes in this one. You'll be drilling it with a 964th drill bit. On this one, you'll only need to drill two. Step number 10, 11, 10 plus 11. Yeah, equals 11. We skipped number 10. Pretend this is step number 10, even though I should 11. Take your one inch and half inch PVC pipe and your small 964th screws, I think. Or were they one eighth? Or take your small screws and put them into the small, the smaller holes. As you can see, I messed up, so that's why there's two holes. Make sure you don't mess up so you don't get confused. And screw them in to match with the other holes on the one half inch PVC pipe. Make sure you do it on both sides. Make sure they're in the smaller holes, not the bigger ones. After you screw them, it should look like this. Make sure you don't screw them too tight. You want the center to be able to spin, just like that. As you can see, it's spinning well. Step number number 10 plus 2. 12. Step number 12. Take your 2-inch PVC pipe and your thing that you just put together, and your long screws. Bolts. I mean, and your screwdriver. Shouldn't be bolt driver. Screwdriver, your screws and bolts. Oh, okay. So, um, take your bolt and put it into the two holes, into the 2-inch PVC pipe. And these holes are the smaller holes that you have drilled. And you could tighten them down a fair way towards the middle. But make sure you don't tighten them down all the way. And you want to put your nuts on it. You want to put two on each side. They lock on each other so that way they won't spin off. I only had three of them, but make sure you have four. And you want to do this on both sides. So when you stack the nuts like that, it'll lock each other so they don't spin off. Now take your half the gimbal and align the bolts with the bigger holes. After you've done that, you could tighten your, your, your bolts. Not screws. I think they're bolts. Yeah, they're bolts. So just tighten down the bolts, and make sure you don't tighten them down too tight, or this can happen. Yeah, it won't spin right, so just loosen them until it spins freely. So the two bolts lock on each other, and they, the bolts serve as um, a platform for the center part to be on. And as you can see, it is um, it, moves all, it moves two directions. It moves your X and Y axis, and this will reduce shaking in your videos if you put this onto a rig. Thanks for watching. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, like it. If you didn't, you don't have to. Subscribe if you want more. And just to let you know, I sped everything up by two times because this video was way too long. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks for watching. Ha, huh? funny robot voice that made this video five minutes long.